Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Alessandro. Please like and subscribe. And today's video is going to talk about gum and bone disease. So this is continuing on from gingivitis and tartar. This is gu about gum and bone disease, which is a progression. So our fancy term for gum and bone disease is periodontitis. It's a really long word. And what's going on? Well, that's when gingivitis isn't really properly taken care of. That is, maybe somebody's not brushing really well or flossing well at all, or even at all. And um, the bacteria that are causing gingivitis start to invade further into the tissues, cause more inflammation, cause more damage when the inflammation is occurring from your white blood cells reaction. And then the bone actually starts to get eaten away. So the support for your teeth starts to get eaten away. That is gum and bone disease or periodontitis. That is when you start to lose support for your teeth. So that's the next phase after gingivitis. Now, there are a couple of very important key tips to remember about gum and bone disease. So as you can see, you progress kind of from healthy to gingivitis, which is right here where there's no bone loss, so right there, all the way down here where you can see the bone is starting to get eaten away and you get more and more of the roots of your teeth exposed and you lose more and more support for your teeth. So, and you can even see it over here, you start to lose the support for the bone right in here, right in here, and then eventually you start to lose the teeth. So, once you have periodontitis, you have it for life. You can't really be rid of it, you can control it though. So, if you're doing a really good job at home of brushing and flossing, keeping things clean, and you go for your regular checkups and cleanings, the situation can be maintained. So, if you have periodontitis, it's not as if it's a death sentence. It means that, yes, you have something that you're going to have, but you can keep it under good control if you're doing your part at home and you come for regular visits. Now, the second thing is that if you have gum and bone disease, I don't want you to feel like you're alone, that is, you're in a tiny minority of the population. I've seen studies where it states that 50 to 80% of the people around you have periodontitis to one degree or another. So maybe it's localized in one tiny part of the mouth. Maybe it's spread out through the, the entire mouth. Everybody's a little bit different. But really, the majority of the people around you have this to one degree or another. So that's important to recognize that we actually, most of us, really do have this to a certain degree. We just typically maintain it very well by following up with our good visits, you know, our regular visits with the dentist, and doing a decent job at home of taking care of our teeth. So. That's another very important, that's the second point that I wanted you to really understand is that almost everybody really has it if you look around you. And the third point is that this disease is usually very slowly progressing. So I say usually because there are exceptions, but for the most part, this disease tends to progress over decades. This isn't something that overnight is gonna really cause enormous damage for your mouth. Um, so this is usually, for most people, something that over the course of many decades, they start to lose the bone and the support for their teeth, and then eventually their teeth get loose. So it is slowly progressing for most people. There is a variant, though, that is aggressive. So there is an aggressive variant. Sometimes you can see it in kids. Sometimes you see it in adults. Um, and one case that I saw, a 32-year-old male uh, had about 80% bone loss around most of his teeth. Amazingly enough, his teeth were almost all firm. There was very little mobility. So the bone that he had was extremely tough, but he was 32 years old and was probably gonna be facing the loss of many of his teeth in the future. Didn't have one cavity though, which was amazing. Not one cavity, not one stain on all 32 of his teeth, but he had very significant periodontitis, which was an aggressive variant instead of the chronic slow-moving variant. And lastly, periodontitis is a bacterial invasion of your gums and bones. That can have profound implications on the rest of your, well, mouth and body. Really, your body, especially, because if the bacteria is invading the tissue here, it's probably also invading, well, the blood vessels around the tissue. And if the bacteria is getting into the bloodstream and going elsewhere, that can be a problem. So it can be a problem, for example, for diabetics. So diabetics are a little bit less resistant to infection. So keeping periodontitis or gum and bone disease under control is really important for them because 
we want to keep them as healthy as they can be because their immune system isn't quite as strong as everybody else's. So periodontitis can be kind of dangerous for people that have these issues with immune systems. And it has been shown to have, you know, to have links to heart disease. So another very important thing is that periodontitis has been linked to heart disease. So keeping it under control is really, really important to keep well, our hearts healthy, and especially for those who have had heart troubles, to keep them healthy in the future as well. So thank you very much for joining me again. Appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and hope you're all staying well.